show you how to label um, a grid outline and a grid photo. That way you're not going to get mixed up. It's very easy to get mixed up. I mixed myself up just before making this video. So this is how we're going to do it. Um, we are going to label the boxes across A, B, C, and D. And we're going to label the ones on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Now we kind of have this uh, naming system where we can say this is box two B right here, two C, two D. And in order to make this work, we also want to label our photo. So we're going to go A, B, C, D, and one, two, three, four, five, and six. That's just going to help you keep track of where things are. Um, in terms of drawing this, what I like to start with, honestly, I like to start with the very outer edge of the face because it's simple, it's a shape, I don't have to deal with facial features yet, and it's not as scary as um, you might think it is. So to do this, what I like to do is just look for an easy place to start. Um, 1D honestly looks pretty easy, it's just the very edge of his hair. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a shape that corresponds to how it looks in the photo. So that looks like the edge of his hair to me. And that kind of covers that whole area. I could go ahead and maybe do the other edge of his hair over in 1A. All right, there's the edge of his hair. Let's see. The bottom of his hair is in 3A. So I can find three A's right here. That's going to be the bottom of his hairdo. Kind of goes like this. And then honestly, that's where his brow ridge goes. And this can be a little bit tricky. It's okay to split up these grid squares a little bit more if that helps you make it into a four square and then make this large one into a four square. That way you can kind of tell placement a bit easier. Mm, that doesn't look quite right. This is kind of a fiddly process, but it does help you get more accurate in your observation drawing. So that's kind of his brow ridge right here. The next square, which is 4A, is his cheeks, which kind of curve inwards like this. Let's see. I can tear it up so I'm drawing right next to it. That would be nice. All right, so here's how it came out. It's definitely, there's something a little bit off for sure. The nose is not right, but for just a quick little tutorial on how to do it, um, that's how you set up a grid. Like I said, he's, he, he's looking at the hot mess right now. Something's wrong with his nose. Don't look at his nose. Pretend that's not there. Then you can be like, oh, not bad. Don't forget, once you add the shading, um, that brings a lot more of the likeness into the image. I wish I had done this nose better, but <laughs> for today, that's as good as, as it's going to get. So um, now it's your turn to give it a shot. This is kind of the hardest part. So if you're frustrated, get up, take a break, take a day off from it, take two days off from it. Do whatever you have to do to stay sane because frog nose over here, um, he's going to get a little bit of a a little bit of a facelift from me later. All right, good luck. Let me know if you have any questions, if you need any help.
I'm here to support you.